I'm consenting. Perfect. All right, so we started the uh, YouTube recording. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Josh and Jason Monday Christian and Conspiracy Podcast Show. I am your host, Josh Monday. And if you don't know me, I'm a Christian rapper, Army veteran. Uh, if you want to know more about me, just go to uh, Josh Monday Music on Instagram. That's what I uh, use. And you can kind of check it out. And uh, we got I got music on there. Uh, a lot of posts about my family and stuff like that. Um, and I'd like to introduce you to my co-host, uh, Jason Monday. He's a devoted husband, uh, a Christian, <laughs> and he's a a father and a, a, a and he's a football coach now. So he's killing it on that. Uh, how's it going, brother? Good, good, very yeah. good. Just a little tired. Uh, had that had a, our playoffs tonight. So sweet. We're out. So. We're we're good. It's good. It's going to be me and my bro tonight because uh, it's just been a chain of events that's been happening with some of the guests. So we are going to be solo bolo. All right, guys. So um, bear with us. We're going to we, we're going to have somebody on, but it's going to be me and him and we're going to kill it. So we're going to go over the the uh, the holy grail of conspiracies, man, uh, the, the JFK assassination. Um and I just I kind of want to go over something real quick before I even start. Um, so this means a lot to me, you know, because uh, I was I know I was in the United States Army. I deployed and um, I believe that if this assassination didn't happen, I believe we probably wouldn't have uh, invaded into um, into Vietnam. I don't believe that would have, I don't think we would have went into Vietnam. So this kind of means a lot to me, this subject. Um, I believe that, you know, cause Lyndon Johnson went in with, you know, on a false flag to, you know, from the Gulf of Tonkin. So I don't believe we would have ended up going into war for, for, um, if the, the assassination didn't happen. So it's like a big thing, man. You guys got to think about it. One bullet ended up, uh, stopping, uh, ended up, uh, sorry, Jay, I thought you froze there, bro. <laughs> No, no, I'm just reading. So sorry, one not bullet. one bullet, not even one bullet. I'm sorry. Yeah, one, one from the three bullets. Hole, one from this changed, guy, seven, yeah. changed the course of, uh, of of history and and of what happened. You know, there's 54,000 uh, soldiers that end up dying, and and then all these PTSD, all this drug and alcohol abuse, and all that. So sorry, guys, I lost my uh, momentum there because I was looking at my brother and he was just froze. So I was like, oh no. Yeah, I was, I anyway, was reading, I was reading something because uh, I was reading about um, just 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 the communism that was coming through in Cuba. That's the, that, that's the type of stuff that, that they were uh, doing back then with Russia. They were, they, they were just the cold war. They were sending people over here. If uh, I don't know if you ever, I know I quoted this guy before, but, but Yuri Bezmenov is like the most knowledgeable age KGB agent on this stuff. When he, when he, he talks about all this stuff about the cold war, he's on the video game. He's on the uh, Cold War video game. He's on. Uh, he's on uh, Call of that? Duty. Uh, yeah, Call of Duty. He's on there. He's yeah. one of, he's one of the voices that's t- explaining being subversion, how the Cold War actually was working, and they knew it. They knew that once communism hit Cuba, it was going to start coming over here, because we had a trade with them and a lot of stuff, and and a lot of people that started uh, uh, rebelling out there started coming to America, and that's how you get, our borders were open all the time, and that's how you get subverted you start bringing other people's theologies other people's you know uh marxist leninist any type of uh any and it's not even illegal in this country to do that you could you if you have a a formulate an idea or a theology you could do it you could go teach it you could go to uh you could be a professor on it it doesn't matter it's not even legal they push you to do that so it's 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 a it's a little uh scary to think about how many people have come into our country and actually have subverted our country into doing like if you know the left yeah you know the, when, the way if they start pushing all these crazy ideas back in the 70s 80s when abortion and all that stuff was coming through they, they got they started getting the, uh, and that's actually robert F, that's robert Ke- or was yeah robert kennedy he was doing that and they were all that's all the kennedys man they're they all they're all doused in 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 politics and it's like man, so you guys got to realize too, and there was so much propaganda that the media was 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 putting out against uh, Cuba as well, you know. And then the mafia had uh, they were owning all these uh, casinos in Havana, so the mafia 
and the CIA were working together to try to get Fidel Castro out. Okay, guys. So Fidel Castro was was ruling over there. And yeah, he might have been communist and, you know, all that stuff, you know, all that stuff, man, whatever was going on. It, and it's bad. But Fidel Castro was trying to back up his people and make sure that the, those casinos are out and he does his thing. So, I mean, knowing looking back at it now, if you guys look at it, you know, back then, obviously, people were like, hey, Fidel Castro, get him out. We need to get him out. Communists is, are bad and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, if you just look at the situation and, and kind of go back on it, Fidel Castro was trying to defend his country against, you know, what we're going to bring up the Bay of Pigs and the CIA went in there and the mafia was also trying to go in there and get Fidel Castro out. It was pretty interesting, man, when you get into it. But let me get into a Bible verse real quick before we start getting into the Bay of Pigs thing. Um, so uh, Timothy uh, one, our first Timothy uh, six, uh, verse 10. I think this goes along with the whole crazy, uh, you know, a lot of the people that I think they were involved in this, man, uh, for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil for which some have strayed from the faith and their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. I believe I used this verse before, but I just wanted to just put that out there because, guys, if you look at this whole situation, man, you're going to see that um, there is so much greed, military industrial complex, CIA, um, all these different uh, machines rolling here. You know what I mean? And, and it, it's all about the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And I think that this is definitely a good verse for this. Um, I think another way we can relate this conspiracy to the Bible would be you know, when Jesus Christ was crucified, the Bible talks about Judas Iscariot selling Jesus, uh, you know, for 40 shekels of silver. What we have to try to look at is, OK, so Judas, yes, he got he did do that for 40 shekels of silver, which is terrible. Who's the people that paid the 40 shekels of silver? The Pharisees. They're the ones that paid it. They conjured up the idea. They planned it. They plotted it and they put it into action. So if you look at the Kennedy assassination. I can kind of compare Lee Harvey Oswald to Judas. You know what I mean? Like the government just try to take everything and place it on Lee Harvey Oswald. Just like the, like a lot of people judge Judas and they put it all on Judas. But we got to look at who plotted, planned, and then put this into action. And I don't believe that Lee Harvey Oswald did it by himself. So I think that's a good way to compare it to the Bible. What do you think, bro? Yeah, well, uh, both were public executions. Both were basically, uh, I like to tie this in with my thing is with Abraham Lincoln. <clears throat> okay. I like to put them both in there as they are the same type of president, you know, very, very, uh, very, uh, very smart, very, uh, could talk very well, knew their country, loved their country, and both got sucked into wars. They didn't want to get, they, they didn't know anything about that were lied about. And if you look at it, they were both trying to get rid of big bank uh, greenback, they were getting rid of credit. They didn't want to have that credit. Like, you, you know, if you owed a hundred bucks, you paid back a hundred bucks. That's how it was. And the, um, everybody involved in this situation, uh, is guilty of hiding and lying and, and whoever, and, and whoever is, in a, how do you, hide something for this long and not have the truth come out, have not, and not have, uh, not have any more investigations about it. And if you think about it, who, who, who is, who was behind it, man, that just goes to show you how powerful they are that, that, that whoever it was behind the scenes, they show you, look, we could, we will kill well, your president. We'll try to get, we'll try to get into it and we can try to explain. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 look, it doesn't matter about, the Bay of Pigs or the wars and stuff like that. I get it. But as long as good Christian men are dying, that's their goal. As long as good, it doesn't matter if, if another person dies, a Catholic dies, uh, a Muslim dies, it does not matter. As long as in that war, good Christian, and you know who usually signs up? Southern Baptist Christian boys go to war. They, 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 they're down for their country. They're patriotic. And most of them are, 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 are very, very godly. And to, and to, to be duped like that, I guarantee you everybody involved look at Nixon. He, he, he ran against 
JFK, and he was pardoned yeah, by Lyndon in 1960. B. Johnson. No, and he was pardoned by Lyndon B. Johnson after he got. Oh, yeah. after we'll he got get into Lyndon in. B. Johnson, bro. So What's let's. Up? Okay, I said we'll definitely get into Lyndon well, B. Johnson. Well, Lyndon B. Johnson was a Republican, I think, and they asked him to run oh. on John F. Kennedy run run on his ticket. They didn't think he was going to run with them, and he said, "Oh, sure, I'll take it." Uh, like, he, what? Okay. Well, the Democratic uh, Convention Party wanted to get Lyndon Johnson on the ticket with him because he wanted to, they wanted to get the because he was the majority Senate leader, no, listen, bro. Not, I know, but they wanted to get. He was Democrat though, Jason. But they wanted to get the no. Southern. Are you sure? To, because he yeah. said it, he was the Republican Senate leader. Okay, I'm not a hundred. I don't know. I don't. Know, I, don't know, I, I was. I was. I was watching this interview, and it said that the reason why they asked him to run with him is because he was the the leader, and they didn't think he was gonna. Um, I think it was the Democratic or the, or the Republican leader. One of the two. I think he was the Democrat. I think he was the Democrat because the Democratic. Uh, uh, committee or whatever they, they said that they want they said that they want uh jfk to run with lyndon b johnson because they wanted to get the southern vote yeah he was the a southern party but he was the, yeah he was the head of the he was the uh senate but you leader. but you're correct though leader. in one way you're you're correct in one way he had uh both sides uh approval i'll just tell you that because he was very good at, at working both sides so he was, uh, you know, he was good at that. So that's probably what you're, why you're mistaking that. What I'm saying but, is that um, he pardoned Nixon, who was not a Democrat. He pardoned him. Yeah. After Watergate. I know. And and, 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 and if you think about it, everybody that was a, well, I know we're going to get into this, but everybody who was a part of the FBI, every, dude, Hoover, uh, uh, Gerald Ford, George Bush Sr., man, he... This is these are people, these are like the these are like the uh uh like the English monarchy type people that are in there. Like that's like them, these are royalty. This is this is this is this is political royalty right here, all involved. Yes, probably all promised presidencies or something like that later down the line because they covered this up so well. So they were born and raised for the presidency. That's how it is. So what they're elite. Yeah, but, so was they're so was elite. I, I love this so much because when dad used to talk about this stuff, he would bring it up and be like, look, this guy was a good guy. You know, uh, uh, John F. Kennedy was a good guy. He was, he was an adulterous, you know, he was a little party animal. He was, he had a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, but what, he was a good guy. Okay. Well, wh well, he, 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 he did have some good values and, and he had to, and he did care about the country and, um, you know, so I just want to talk about let's we're going to go into the Bay of Pigs real quick and then we'll get back to uh, all that stuff, because I definitely want to get into Lyndon B. Johnson. I want to get into J. Edgar Hoover. I want to get into all that uh, stuff, you know, because that all that all kind of uh, will we'll all tie in together. So the Bay of Pigs. OK, guys, let's uh, let's check out what the Bay of Pigs are. I think it's a really, really important thing to bring up because um, the thing about it is, is. There was a gentleman that I think was involved in the assassination that was um, what was the CIA director at the time that the Bay of Pigs happened. Um, so I'll just get into that real quick, just so you guys kind of know the Bay of Pigs invasion. Uh, it happened in 1961. And what it was is it was approved by Eisenhower. Okay. And then Eisenhower ended up losing the, or uh, didn't run. He ended up doing his term already. And it was approved by Eisenhower. And then John F. Kennedy basically came into presidentship. Uh, it was the CIA's operation. They wanted to go into uh, Cuba. They had uh, trained 1500 ground forces, like basically like a militia is what they kind of trained uh, of Cubans to go against the, uh, to go against Castro. Now, Castro has like 25,000 uh, Cuban army, 200,000 militia, uh, 9,000 armed police. He's got a ton of, 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 of power there. And then the CIA just thought they were going to go in there. They were going to basically kind of uh, they were going to be like a match and start this the, the a war basically between them. And what it is, is the CIA, uh, what, what John F. Kennedy told the CIA is that is you guys doing that. I'm not going to activate the United States military for that. So basically, uh, JFK avoided us going to war with Cuba and uh, the CIA kind of got their butts you know, kicked and they en ended up out of there. It was just like a big scramble. And it was uh, something that, um, you know, it was 
they, they definitely didn't accomplish their mission. Okay. And it was, and, and uh, here's a couple things that, that is kind of interesting. Um, so the governor, John Conley, he's the gentleman that was in the right front seat of the vehicle. He was the, uh, the secretary of the Navy at the time of the Bay of Pigs. So he was making some decisions for, you know, why this was happening as well with the Bay of Pigs. There was a little bit of military that actually helped out with this. It wasn't just all CIA. Uh, so that's one thing. The CIA director at the time, his name's Alan uh, Doulis. Okay. He has a brother uh, that, that was actually a big uh, senator and, and, and big political uh, name as well. But the CIA director, Alan Doulis, after the Bay of Pigs incident, JFK said he would scatter the, the CIA into the four winds. He wanted to dismantle the CIA. And what he did with this gentleman, Alan Doulis, is he fired him. Okay. He canned him. He fired the longest acting director of the CIA, Alan Doulis. The thing about this guy is he is super powerful. He's actually the fifth cousin to Queen Elizabeth II. Okay. Uh, and I believe when he got canned, which he never thought was going to happen, because he's been, dude, he's been through so much stuff, dude, with the CIA, dude. He ended up becoming the top dude, the director, and he was a director for a long time. I believe that he kind of held, uh, you know, kind of hold the vendetta against the against uh, Kennedy. OK, and here's the crazy thing, Jason, you were talking about Lyndon Johnson. So Lyndon Johnson was the one that formed the Warren Commission, OK, which is the people that actually investigate and write up a report about what happened with the JFK assassination. Guess who he ends up putting in there as one of the members? That guy. Alan Doulis of the yeah. CIA which is like almost you can almost say like an enemy of uh, John F. Kennedy, pretty much. You know what I mean? Like he, he I don't, fired I don't him. Think, I don't think Lyndon B. Johnson and John F. Kennedy got along because when they, they asked didn't. Him to run, yeah. When they, but look, if, if you think about it, where did where did he where was he? Uh, where did uh, Lyndon B. Johnson come from? Where did he come from? What do you yeah, mean? Where, what's, what state was he uh, brought up in and governing and stuff like that? The state of uh, Texas. Texas, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. He went where to Texas John University. Where was John F. Kennedy killed? In Texas, I know. Texas, and, okay. and, and, and now me, you don't think you don't think that okay? Wh why wasn't Lyndon B. Johnson in that car with him, dude? Okay, so he's this. He, okay. he is this. He is the. Hold on. He's the vice president. He is the what? He is the Texas, like basically the Texas. He was a prominent president. They thought he was going to be a really good president, but he left office as a disgrace. OK, they didn't like him in there. Nobody liked him in there. He Vietnam started right after that. And John F. Kennedy was totally against that. He did not want our boys going over there because he, he knew what was going on. So he was an outcast, dude, like you said, he was definitely an outcast in, in the White House, like even during the Cuban National Miss Missile Crisis, when the final decision was made about that, which is like something that was huge because like everybody was paranoid. They were getting bomb shelters. Remember, he was excluded from that meeting. So you could tell. And also the morning that J JFK got assassinated, what was on the front page of that newspaper, dude? It Lyndon said that sworn in. No, no, no. Uh, the morning before <laughs> the morning of uh, Lyndon or the morning of John, JFK, the day that he got shot on the front page of the newspaper. You know what it said? It no. said that Lyndon B. Johnson is not going to be running with JFK when JFK goes in for re-election, which is going to be in 1961. So Lyndon Johnson, you could tell they were they were butting heads, dude, for sure. Not only that, not only, not only that, he wouldn't have got elected if he ran by himself. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He they wanted him in there for some reason. He's a civil rights guru. He's all this stuff. He's uh, he, he's just he, he was he was a he, he was a. I guess he was a really smart man in in the in, in the in the civil rights movement, like that. But why 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 are you swearing? Okay, the president of the United States just got shot. Okay, I'm not shot. His brain's blown all over the place. Okay, and you're rushing to get sworn in. You're already the president, bro. Yeah, you already was, know that the American people know I, the pre hold on the president's dead. So why are you just show? I want I gotta get sworn in right now. Hey, swear me in. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, he's dude. Jackie Onassis didn't even change her clothes, dude, in the swearing. And she was still wearing her clothes when they sworn her him in. Yeah. And she stated, "I wore." They go, "Why are you? Why didn't you change?" And this was a, almost a, like like almost a day later. 
So why did you change? He said, because I want to everybody to see what they did to my husband. They killed my husband. Well, yeah. who's they? Okay. Well, we definitely, I mean, there's, there's, I, I could, I could, I could tell you there's, there's a, a, a lot of different scenarios that we could go through right now where that'll tell Dude, you his brother, his brother was it. a good, he was supposed to be a good politician. They smoke him. Uh, Jack Ruby, smoke him. Oswald. Oswald's dead before he even, even knows he's yeah. even charged I kinda, with murder. Yeah. I want to get into, I like, to, I want to actually get into uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, bro. Like his timeline. So you guys can kind of get a good idea. So that way you can get into what, what we're, the, the podcast. Cause we were kind of going into, you know, we're digging on Lyndon Johnson, which I'm going to, we're going to get into him well, and yeah, his whole all, commission and all that. Skip him now and go to Ar- Lee Harvey because there's a, they're yeah. all, they're all in on it. Dude. Okay. So, Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay. This is a description from the people that are in the neighborhood, man. They said he was a kind, loving man. He was always outside playing with his children. He would always actually have, um, he would always like the neighbors would try to come over there like his kids because he would be playing with the kids and he's like acting like a goofy, having fun with them. He was a Marine veteran. Okay. Um, he, he served our country. Uh, he had an honorable discharge out of the Marines. But what they did is they they took they tried to take that honorable discharge away because they said that he defected to the Soviet Union. OK, so what they did is kind of try to build uh, they try to kind of build uh, a drama against uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. So that's what the they background. do. They're trying to build a, yeah. build a backstory on this guy. That- a backstory. And what happened is he defected to the Soviet Union. He tried to join the KGB. KGB is what they said. He ended up getting married to a Russian woman, which, he, you know, he ended up staying with. And then when he passed away, he was still with her. Um, he uh, he uh, defected. He tried to join the KGB is what they said. And what happened was he uh, he ended up coming back to America. Right. So and he brought his Russian wife with them and they let him back into America. But they they said that the FBI was watching Lee Harvey Oswald after that, you know, because they think he's a defector, but go ahead. Okay. So if they're saying all that stuff, this backstory, you know, this all stuff starts popping up. Well, the secret service, when they plan uh, like a parade like that, whatever it is, they don't plan it a day before they plan it three to four months in advance. They go to every building. They interview people that are going to be where that work around there. They interview people that are going to be uh there that day, they don't want no windows open. Anybody in that vicinity, okay? Anybody on that route that has a background like Lee Harvey Oswald, they're gonna say, you're not going to work that day, bro. You're not gonna be at work today. You're gonna stay at home, we're gonna watch you. And if the FBI is so-called watching them, he, he's not gonna be at work that day. They, were, they even said, they said, when, we, when they changed the route two days before the actual uh, parade and made him in a, diff, a, a black Cadillac limousine. All the other ones were different color. Uh, Jackie Onassis, they gave her red roses before the actual parade. So they, and, and they then before that, they, when they changed around, CIA is like, hey man, what's going on? We don't change routes like this ever. We don't do that. That's, that's yeah. uncalled. And they said, oh, yeah. it's going to be a different way. And then the formation of the police was asked, stay away from the left rear tires. Stay away from the yeah. rear tires. And the police were like, that's a weird formation. Well, well we're just going to follow it because no one's even thinking anything. And then he's the leader. He's leading the pack of, um, of, uh, of the parade. Okay. So they're going right. to know when he's coming. So I got to say something about that. Black car. So you guys got to understand something. Okay, guys. So uh, in the military, when we do convoys, uh, even when we're just driving from Los Alamitos up to Camp Roberts, our captain is in the very back, which is, which is our, which is our, you know, leader. Why he's in the back. So Why? just in case he gets, just in case he gets attacked, if he gets, atta- he's the get most attacked, important one. In yeah. The yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's, 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 that's true for that formation. I don't know what they were thinking, but okay. So Lee Harvey Oswald. Well, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, Josh. Let me ask you this. Okay. In a convoy, right. And if, say, say you're sitting there and they go, okay, look at you have three, uh, you have three white SUVs. You have a one black hit the black SUV with whatever it is. It stands out. The white ones don't, you know, not to hit the white ones. The black car stands out. It, it, okay. Another, another, another example. If I'm, if, if I'm wearing a mink coat, white mink coat out, right. White mink coat out to the club. Right. And you know, uh, 
say someone say say I'm getting someone's gonna pull a hit on me, right? Mm -hmm. They're not looking for a dude in a in a in, in a in a you know code. They're looking for the white mean dude. You stand out like a sore thumb. Shoot him. He's and that's that, that's the thing. You don't want to stand out. If I was JFK, I'd be like, why are you making me? Why are you making me like a giant bullet? Like a like a like a like a target. That's a target. What, a what, what are you, what's target. a target? What are you talking about? When you when when they sold when they gave red roses to to Jackie, oh. a big old bouquet, right? Right there. If you're if you are a sniper, you know, look for the red roses. Once the red roses oh. pop around the corner, look for the look for the limo, the black limo, the only black limo on the whole thing. All the other ones are different, different colors, dude. Different yeah. colors. Okay. You are a you are a sniper. And they say, so, look, watch for the black car with red roses. What are you gonna do? Yeah, so it's not, uh, it's not it. I can kind of go on that too. Okay, so here's a couple of things. Like, uh, first of all, they took off the they took the top off. Okay, so that's something that's interesting. That they have they have the top off. Okay, so one of the Secret Service agents approved that. Um, he why was President he, Kennedy why was, wasn't he sitting on top of the the back? Like you know how instead of the seat, why was he sitting on top of the car like the thing with his wife waving and everyone waving? Why not? Why was he sitting down? Usually when they do the parade, they're sitting on the top of it. That's why they have it open like that. Well, he you can wave and sit up, you know, sit up on the back. Wave. Yeah. No, because he could have moved around and, and it's, it would be too, they didn't want to hit Jackie. They didn't know whoever was doing it. Dude. No, they, yeah. They, they were staying away from hitting her because you can even see when she was le leaning down, like when he got shot in the neck, the first shot, she leans down and then he gets the headshot. It's like she once she leaned down, she moved out of the way of it, and then boom, he got the headshot. But I know. Okay, let's I think let's get into Lee Harvey Oswald, well, dude, because we're we're getting off. We're getting off. This is what we do. We drive it we off. Got, course, there's Oswald's so much information. Well, he's a patsy. I know, but this is the thing, people, dude. You got to understand, dude. They try to make him the guy. So you, we have to understand him for us to understand that there is a conspiracy here. You know what I mean? I know, like, but to, gotta to make explain him the it. guy. You're so, making too much, too easy of a back. You found all this information on this dude in one day. You had pictures fabricated, the, the, the gun, oh, everything. Yeah, yeah. Come on, okay. man. Come okay, on, so man. That's, that's the like. Morning, that is, that is we'll so, just start out with the, the morning that Lee Harvey Oswald actually is, is going to work. Okay. So. Well, did you see all, the interview? First of all, yes, I did. I saw an interview. They with said, him. They, they said, do you even know what you're being charged for? He's all, no, nobody has told me anything. Calm. Cool, calm, like he only's getting a ticket, like someone's giving a, a parking ticket. You're being charged with the, the assassination of the president of the United States. He's like, What? Oh, can someone represent me, please? Someone come out here and represent me, please. I need representation. I don't, I, I can't. Oh, dude. They're Believe like, me. They, they shut already, him down, dude. He was buried already. He, he couldn't do anything. He was uh, like, What? So, Lee Harvey Oswald, okay, the morning uh, of, of the actual assassination. First of all, Lee Harvey Oswald doesn't drive, okay? He had to get a ride to work. So the guy that gave him a ride to work said uh, that he had a brown paper bag on him that had curtain rods in it. The guy asked him what's in there. He said curtain rods. And the guy said it was like two feet long, right? And, dude, the rifle that he had <laughs> that supposedly brought in there is, is three feet long when you take it apart. So there's no way that that could have been the bag, okay? That's what they tried to say. And um, also... Uh, which is, which is, which is crazy. So he ends up going into work, right. And the motorcade ends up coming through. It's about, it's about five minutes late because what happens is J John F. Kennedy stopped to shake hands. So it's five minutes late when, okay. So there's two witnesses that saw him in the lunchroom, which is on the second floor. He's eating at like 1150, 12 o'clock clock ish, right. They're sitting there and, and he's eating and they're, and they're talking to him like no problem. The, the motorcade is five minutes late, right? So, and he was still eating in the lunchroom when it was supposed to be there. So think about it. If he was the assassin, he probably would have been upstairs by then, right? Because if it, he would already be cocked, ready, uh, ready to go. And the motorcade was five minutes late. So he was actually down there on the second floor during the time that the motorcade was supposed to come through. So that's kind of interesting to me. All right. So they, they were, so they left. So he ends up, so he would have to go up there. Allegedly, like allegedly, bro, had to go up to the top of that roof or that window. Yeah, the sixth floor. That up. From the second to the sixth floor. Make a sh almost a one in a million shot. Okay. 
Put yeah. it down. Wipe the sweat off your face because you're tripping now. Run downstairs and op- and buy a Coke and yeah, sit down calmly and just be drinking your Coke. And what? And not and sweating. What not sweating at all. Not feeling. And what happened, anything. guys? He went downstairs. He bought a Coke and he went and he was in the lunchroom when the police officer and it was only 45 seconds after the shot, after after the uh, assassination, a police officer goes in to the uh, book depository because he said he heard the shots come from uh, the sixth floor. He goes in there and he says that he sees John F or John F. Kennedy. Sorry, he sees Oswald and he and a supervisor like was the one that walked him through the building. So he ends up saying, do you know this guy? The supervisor says, yes. He works here. And the, and the police officer said that when he saw Oswald, there was no sweat on him, like my brother said. And he said he was calm, cool, and collect. So Oswald ends up walking out of the building and going to catch a cab. And here's what happened. There was an old lady that came, and he ended up giving that cab to an old lady, the, the first cab. So if you are trying to get away from when you just shot the president, bro, you're going to take that cab and you're going to get the heck out of there because you actually just got away with it. Cause you're gone. You're so not going to buy he, a Coke. You're not going to uh, buy. Yeah. A yeah. Coke. Yeah. And, and he ends up. So yeah, the no Coke way. Is, Are you crazy go too. And buy a soda? So he ends up exiting, going into a cab, <laughs> a second cab goes to his house. They say that he ended up uh, putting on a jacket and then he ended up putting a pistol on a holster on his side. Right. And then he ended up, walking the streets and what happened after that is a uh, uh so there was a bulletin that went out which i have no idea how they got this they said that a five foot ten 160 pound white male is is the suspect like which, and, and if you weighed him out and you and you measured that is uh, him uh, that is that in a nutshell he is weight he's like 165 510 so it's crazy that they even put that. Um, what is it? I don't know what it's called. The bulletin or whatever. They just said, "Look out!" They, who, they told yeah, the police who officers. Witness that. that. If you're gonna witness that and that you saw something like that, things change in your mind. When, yeah. when yeah. you're afraid and you're scared and you and, and you're trying to tell like the, someone's picture or they, what they look like, they're not gonna say, "Oh, 5'10", 165, white male, perfect." You know, they're gonna say between five ten, yes, six yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he's about 135, 165 pounds, you know, yep. white man, man, he could, I don't know, man. I really didn't see it. Not, Hey, perfect. You know what happened when they changed that course? They probably said, look, we got a guy here that's in the building. We, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, he was in the military. He was, a, she has the same, Bro, uh, no, they already had saying. him so we can set put, as we can a patsy. On this guy dude. right now. We yeah, we could put it on. they already had him pet- set as a patsy. Believe me, dude. When they arrested so, him, they are. They said, "Hold, go, hold hey, on, that, no, no." We'll, we'll get to the arrest. Like, the cop that arrested him was an old man. We'll get to well, the arrest. Yeah. Let's, goes, let's he's get like this man. That guy was so calm, like he was getting a parking ticket. I don't understand yeah. how he was so calm. So he was. He, that's what he did say. So he was. So, so he was walking down a residential, and uh, a, a police Allegedly officer shot a police officer. Well, a police officer rolls up on him, right? And probably just probably just asked him like, hey, like probably wanted to talk to him or whatever. And then they say that he pulled out his revolver. He shot uh, the police officer's name is J.D. Tippett yep. three times in the chest and one time in the head. OK, and kill him. Why? And he, he starts running away, going off course, bro. Totally off course from from the movie theater he ends up in. And two people said they saw him. One lady said that she saw him eye to eye and he had a pistol in his hand and they looked at each other eye to eye. And then he ended up just running away. First of all, if you just shot the president of the United States and you just shot a police officer, no problem. And then someone looks at you eye to eye, a revolver. I don't know about about you guys, but it holds six bullets. He's probably at least got two still in the chamber. Don't you think you would have shot woman. that lady? I would have clubbed her over the head with the back of the gun. Or something. Ah, shut up. Get out of here, yeah, woman. especially if you saw me eye to eye, like she said, okay? So they had to have her say that they, they that that she saw him, but she's, and she even said that, uh, she even said that she's not 100% it was Oswald. She just said that it was a five foot 10 male. And that she, she thinks it, never, she thinks it was him. Nobody's gonna ever remember that. They're gonna be like, so, and then, that. and then another guy had saw him too as well, and 
she said that she he saw uh, a gentleman that was five foot ten, white, whatever, just like Oswald, running away from the scene. And uh, so then he ends up running into a, a movie theater, and uh, and then these cops uh, are, are somebody said they saw a gentleman, a white, pale gentleman, saying that he was pale because he was pale white, probably because he was uh, you know he just killed two people is what they say. He went into a movie theater, and then the cops surrounded him. They ended up getting in a scuffle. They take the weapon from him, and they end up hitting him in the face. He catches like catches like a black eye, right? So he goes to the police station, and now Jason. Uh, was talking about how the gentleman's that the gentleman that arrested him was saying that he was calm, cool, collect, like nothing happened. Yeah, but, but uh, he didn't even know about the he didn't even know about Tippett. They're like, oh, did they tell you? They, he goes, "Do you know why you're being arrested?" And he goes, "No, they have not even charged me with anything. I don't. I'm I'm not even arrested yet. They haven't charged me with anything." He goes, "You are charged with the murder of 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 an officer and of the president of the United States." And you see his countenance of his face go like this. What? Mm-hmm. No, 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 man! Please, please, somebody come represent me. This is not. Yeah, not right. And no, all the all the interrogations, Jason. All they had, all they released to the public is forty five seconds of the interrogation. Obviously, they recorded the whole entire thing, and they interrogated this guy for like hours upon hours upon hours right it was probably like it was probably like you shot the president he's like i shot the president dude Me? are you serious here's like, the oh, thing bro that's a confession confession right there he's probably right. like i shot the president you're tripping bro. no no like, no no there was no confession they, they the police said they never got a confession out of him even on oswald's deathbed when he got shot by jack ruby he still on his deathbed he still didn't confess to it he said i did not do any of this so he even all the way till his death so anyway so uh yeah so jd tippett this is kind of crazy because if you look at jd tippett he actually he looks a lot like uh john f kennedy if you guys take a look at jd tippett he actually has a little pretty pretty much has a uh real the same kind of face not exactly but you know same kind of face as him so there was a uh conspiracy that you know because the warren commission when they did the autopsy or, or when they did the autopsy on the body, uh, some people said that that the wounds that they saw on the autopsy did not look match the same wound that that John F. Kennedy got. You can actually see his whole his whole brain splatter okay. and his well, big old gaping wound. Yes. And it well, looks like that right now. When when a, when a, you're in the military, when when a, when a rifle hits some, like something like that. I've actually witnessed a uh, watermelon getting shot by an AR-15, and I know exactly what it looked like. Yeah, but how far explodes. away? How far away? Oh, this is like uh, 200 meters or 100 meters. So, like, maybe like what? What? Like, like, like? That's not, like not even a football field. That's like, uh, well, no, it's 100 meters is a football field. It's 100 yards. We got 100 yards. So it exploded <laughs> the whole thing, right? It exploded like a freaking, just like exactly like uh, uh, JFK. You know, I'm sorry to, I don't want to just say it like that. Uh, it exploded no, no, like no, 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 no. Kennedy, like so. a, yeah, yeah, brain matter, whatever. Like I said, yeah. Okay, so so how the heck are how the heck is his head intact? There's no brain in it. They they, they say when they did the autopsy, they started their man. They, you have to when when a, when a, when you do the autopsy and somebody is shot. This is from a forensic uh, forensic scientist. I don't want to name his name because I don't know if he wants to be talked about anymore, but he said, when a person is hit in the head with a bullet, you have to cut the brain in quarters to find where you have to find, you, you have to find, you have to find where it went in. You know, you have to, you, this is what, this is why they do the autopsy. He started looking at his, there's no brain in here, bro. Like there's no brain. Well, yeah. Brain well, dude. In here. Well, like, <laughs> why, why is he like, and then there, and here come everybody. We got to get him out here. We got to get him out here. Okay, there was a brain at the Parkland Hospital. Okay, there was a brain, but when they took the body, which which okay, well let's talk about that really quick. Okay, so we ended up talking about Oswald. Okay, uh, that we just wanted to kind of go over that part. Um, we can go over the actual shooting as well, dude. If you want to, dude. I, I mean, if well, you guys want, look, look, we're not even a half hour, forty five minutes worthy of that, and it's like there's so many things. And, and I know, so I know, many I know. People that are involved. So look how many people are dead? You just go look on the internet and say, look how many people are dead involved in that in this situation. Marilyn Monroe, Bobby okay. Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, Lee RV Oswald, Jack Ruby. Jack Ruby, dude, 
man, he pulls out. What was he? Why did he? Why was he even involved in this situation? Why is he even going in there and, and shooting somebody like that in broad day? I'm not talking like you're shooting them at night and no one knows it. You're walking up in the middle of them, walking through the bam, and you you got either you got the biggest cojones in the world or they got something on you so bad. They probably had his kid or something, man, because there's no way I'm, you're not going to get me. Jack, you talking about Jack Ruby? Yeah. He walked in there in front of everybody. Okay. Shot yeah. Okay. Oswald so that'll, that'll kind of go along with the, the Oswald well, what thing. I'm saying so is that the people that he, are involved in it are dead. Let's, let's, let's finish that part. So basically, uh, so, so Os, Oswald was arrested. We talked about that. We talked about that he got interrogated and then what happened is they uh, made a decision to move him to a county jail because he said it's more secure for him. Now, there was plenty of police officers that even testified that they were telling their superiors to not bring him through that, uh, Public. that basement. Don't bring him through that basement. Let's take him and bring him, uh, you know, in another car so that nobody sees him. And let's and then know that what their superior said is that we promised the media and we promised uh, our superiors that we would take him through this basement and let the media be there. So Jack Ruby is, first of all, you guys need to know something about Jack Ruby, man. He definitely had, they said he had some, uh, he had some mafia ties. He owned a strip club and he had police officers, Dallas police officers going in and out of that club. Okay. So Jack, they say that Jack Ruby ended up going and, you know, going in that and then shooting uh, Oswald in the stomach. Boom. Oswald falls down. They ended up grabbing the gun from Jack Ruby and they arrested him. They well, asked he Jack also, no, Ruby. He got, he got another shot off. Another he shot. Okay. Well, hey, I he got I two shots he, off. The guy that did it, he he uh, he pulled his arm down and he fired again. And I think he hit him. I think he. I think he, I don't know if he hit himself. You, or you guys can watch the video of Jack Ruby when he shot Oswald and watch the gentleman in the very front. Uh, he's there's a car that's backing up, which is the one they're supposed to be putting him in. And I, I see him wave his hand like behind his back. You guys can watch it. I can't pull it up on this because I don't know how to uh, sh uh, share screen yet. You could see him go like that. And Jack Ruby comes in and shoots him. Okay. First of all, Jack Ruby. But gut shot him. He gut shot him. And that yeah. ain't going to kill somebody real quick, dude. If you're gut shot, yeah. you might die. But you're going to die two days later. It's going to hurt like heck. But if you get to the hospital in time, you're going to live. Yeah, they had him. They had and, him in that gurney and in the hospital like that. Gone. Let's go. Yeah, no, I don't see. I don't hear no autopsy about him. I don't hear no nothing about him. Dude. He just disappeared. Yeah, and how do I know? He, how do I know he's not still alive? And they just, they, they just, you know, hey, was well, promised some stuff. I, I don't well, know what's going on. You. But if you cover this up like this bad, and everybody involved is dead, and there's no, no declassification of anything, which like, hey man, this is what really happened, dude. The American people. So, Deserve it. People back then deserve it. There's still people that visit John F. Kennedy's grave, man. It's like, hey, this okay. guy's a great guy. So, Jason, here's the here's the crazy thing. The murder weapon, okay? He purchased the murder weapon on March, in March 1963. And here's the thing. It ended up coming to a P.O. box, and he purchased it under the name A. Heidel. I don't know what the first name was. I know that it was A. Heidel, right? Which is a false <clears throat> name. What the police officer says is that when we arrested Oswald, we found one identification that said A. Heidel and one identification that said Oswald. So if that A. Heidel ties you to the murder weapon, do you really think that Oswald is going to have that identification on him? Heck no. That is stupidest thing in the world. Why is he going to have that? It's not even his real identification. So that was definitely planted on him, I believe. Dude, I believe that was definitely planted on him, that ID. That's the only thing that tied him to that weapon. And also, they, they uh, was were this, Was this after print. Oswald's dead? Listen, no. Is this after, no, all this stuff, is this after Oswald's dead, all this, all this stuff you're talking about? They start doing this after he was already killed? Well, after he's dead, let me let me tell you about what happened after he's dead. Well, what I'm saying they, is like the stuff you're saying, was this all going on after he's okay, was, was when killed? Okay, when he was alive... What they tried to say is when they took him in for the interview uh, or for the interrogation, they found two IDs on him. One of them, A. Heidel, which is the which is the name and, and the P.O. box that it's tied to where the, the murder weapon, the, the, the rifle, okay, got sent to. The one that killed, they say, killed yeah, JFK. Yeah, yeah. 
I thought this, no. okay, so, okay, so. I'm sorry if I'm not explaining it right. Dumbest police force there is in the world. There's a lot of them. They're not this, the cops are not this smart. You're going to tell me that they solved this case in two days? No, no, no. Two days. That's only one part of it, Jason. I know, the other part. Me, dude, that's like, no. dude, the, watch, watch the next, watch the, watch the, ne- uh, the, the next 48. Watch it. Okay. Yeah, here's, here's, here's cops, some, here's cops, some, cops the first 48, the first 48 the weapon, whatever it is. Do they have little TT, little cuckoo in the, in, in the, in the, in the interrogation room? Right. And if he lawyers up, basically he's going to get off and the case is over. Yeah. They don't, they don't, there's no, there's no, oh man, look at, we, we look this way. Oh my gosh. Look at all this evidence is here. But he, they had no confession. They had no here, confession from anyone. No boxes here. But the come on, this is this is like spoon-fed lies. Like that, okay, yeah. Like, the like, the, the murder like weapon, Jason. The murder weapon. They they tried to. They, they were dusting it for prints. They never had any. They said they couldn't find any prints on it. And then Oswald gets shot. Boom! Right. And found then they said print. that they found a palm print on the gun. So that's what tied him to that weapon. The you know AI why? Does. You know how they tied it to the weapon? Shoot him, put his hand on the gun. Well, after he's dead. Boom. Let me tell you. Now let me tell you something, gun. dude. The Secret Service or the I'm sorry, the CIA came into the mor- mor- the mortuary and they went in there to a uh, fingerprint him is what they said. OK, and, they, and he had ink on his hands and the mortician actually had to wash the ink off of uh, Oswald's hand. So what that tells me, dude, is that they went in there. They probably took the right piece of the rifle. They probably stuck his actual hand on it so that they could tie that weapon to Oswald. That's what they wanted to do. That is what I believe happened with that. Okay. Um, let's see what this, else. This, dude, it, it, this is like an open and shut case, dude. Why are we even talking about it? It's, uh, it it's, it's open. crazy. Come man. on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's weird. <laughs> it's just. I don't care who you are, a police officer and, 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 and detectives do not find out all this information without the internet, without cameras, without I very many eyewitnesses, with the greatest shot of all time on a moving target. You, you, uh, uh, you have all these things that go into play and you, you're gonna tell me that this dude wasn't assassinated in front of, dude, this was a sacrifice in front of everybody to show that look, we will kill your president. We will kill your mom. We will kill your dad. We will kill your anything. Because if you stand in the way of our agenda, you get moked out. It doesn't matter what, who you are. It don't matter. What, that just shows you that. Well, it's a message to, yeah, it's a message to future presidents anybody, and senators anybody. and everybody. The, everybody, if you don't follow all in line, the, what the new world order and the elite are doing or the military industrial complex or the CIA or any of these major, uh, players and the devil, the devil obviously the devil, the devil is, is definitely involved dude he's the one that's uh that's leading the pack for these well, guys look at his son look at this okay if you kill my dad like that and i'm and i'm in uh and, and i see and i started watching the videos and I, and I growing up watching that stuff i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna be the uh <clears throat> the the son that just that i'm disappearing i'm learning every martial art you could possibly teach me i'm becoming uh-huh. basically neo in the matrix and i'm gonna kill uh-huh. everybody involved in this situation because dude you just killed my dad in front of everybody and you had no right to do that and nobody is and i guarantee you that, that boy never ever found out who did it oh who killed them yeah oh dude nobody they're, knows. they are all knows. yes believe all me. this stuff in there but really they're all sworn who, to secrecy who, buddy the one and that, i let it go said, look Here's the idea. Who's got any ideas for the next year? Uh, yeah, you, John. Hey, how about we shoot the president of the United States in, in Texas in front of everybody, put it, uh, you know, pin it on a patsy, and, you know, we'll get the Democratic Party moving along again. It's a good yeah. idea. Let's do it. All right, so, <clears throat> yeah. Who the heck um, thought of this, man? Yeah, it's that, crazy. That's horrible. You blew a man's brains out on live television in front of his wife, uh, in front of just people that were like, man, we really liked it. He was like basically a really good president. Everybody liked him. Good looking, smart, very, very articulate, can talk the pants off of anybody. And you smoke him in front of everybody yes. like that. And then you don't even have the balls to do an investigation. Oh. 
another yeah. balls to come forward and say, hey, look, dude, this is pure evil in, in, in motion. We need to do an investigation. Everybody shuts up and hides it. This is how this, this tells the American people they should know. Okay, conspiracies, they might not be real, but if a government can hide a thing like this, they can hide you, they can hide anything, they can come in and do whatever you want. If you look on stuff and you really want to research it, it's probably true. It's probably true. And it's scary. This is scary stuff because no one's did anything about it. Yeah. Well, no, Nobody definitely because they're all involved it. in it, bro. So uh, no, no, no. the American people didn't go, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you got to understand the, me that the generation. Dude, this is 30 then. years, 40 years later, my brother. And yeah. we're talking about it like it happened last week. Yeah. Okay. And this is stuff that if I told you, you know, hey, man, uh, look, we're going to, you're going to be president, you know, and this and that, but you're going to have to, do, you know, conform to our ways. And you're like, no, I don't like this. I want to get out. It's, it's like joining a gang. You what, they said, what they said is the reason why he got killed is because he tried to actually be a president. That's why you got smoked because you really think that you're going to, oh, you really think you're going to come in here and you need to be a puppet. Yes. Or the establishment. And that's why he walked in and goes, you know what? This ain't right. Yeah. This isn't right. I'm not going to run my country. Be I got elected, not you. And they're like, he ticked off oh, a lot of people, man. He's not going to fall in line. So this guy is going to be a problem. His brother's right. going to be a problem. Hold on real quick, Jason. So let's do this. I just want to go over a couple more inconsistencies. Okay. So with Lee Harvey Oswald, they said that he supposedly shot three rounds off in under six seconds with the rifle that you have to cock back and you have to be, dude, you have to be super accurate. And that's, that's just not a lot of time for someone that barely qualified in the Marine Corps. Okay. He barely qualified in the Marine Corps in his rifle, um, you know, uh, qualifying. Oh no, okay? but he's an expert. So sniper. It's a, the luckiest shot in the world. So he <laughs> twice, it only happened. The only time that I've ever they've ever I, there's t- plenty of snipers that try to try to do this feat, but it did happen on live tele. I mean on on CBS, okay. And the guy's name was Howard Donahue. He was a ballistics expert and he's been around weapons all his life. He ended up uh, doing the shots in five point two seconds. But that yeah, but that's a guy that 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 trained for this dude for like yes. like two years. Him, well, listen, Jason, it took him three times to be able to do this feat. Okay, so he, Bro, he doesn't have and he's he not shooting the, the president. Movie. I know, but I'm pretty sure he was training for this for like a couple months. He, okay, dude, just try he was it. training on it for sure. They were trying to prove the uh, the commission right, the the Warren Commission correct. So, dude, I could barely I could barely get up in the morning to brush my teeth. Sometimes <laughs> this guy's pulling off a miraculous shot, running downstairs, buying a coke, wiping the sweat off his brow, not pissing himself, and sit there and sit down like this. Oh, that guy's a killer! What? Go out, let another woman enter the uh, enter the the cab. You know what I'm saying? If I'm a killer, who cares about this woman's cab? Dude. Get out of my way! This is okay. my cab. Okay. If right? I was Oswald, I'm a Jason, here, here's the thing. If I was Oswald and I got out of that building, I got away from the crime I just committed. I just shot the. I mean, the committed one of the biggest crimes of the century, and I got away from it. I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna sit I at my house. Home. I am, let, have a plan to go. I'm already got a plan. I'm going. No, 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 no. He doesn't need to. Because, no, I'm just telling you, he's not going to go and walk the neighborhood again. And like they said he did with J.D. Tippett. So that, that's just that's just some of the stuff with Oswald, guys. And Jason was talking about some interesting thing. Uh, I don't remember what he was saying. He was saying something about, um, oh, you don't even know if he ended up dying. Right. You said that. So here's yes, another thing because when you were gut shot, I'll finish, from that, I'll from finish the thing. Oswald section. Hold on. I'll finish the Oswald section with uh, with this. OK, so the lady that he was married to didn't trust the government. So what she did oh, is man. she asked um, she asked uh, the mortician to pull resu- or exhume his body in 1981. Exhume Lee Harvey Oswald's body and make sure that he's in that casket because she didn't believe the government or anything. What so she mean? got the. She got the body exhumed. Okay. The mortician, this guy's on record saying that when he placed that casket in the ground, because it's the same dude that placed that, that he's, he's owned this, uh, this funeral home forever. And he, and he was yeah. the one that actually did the autopsy on, on Oswald or what is supposedly Oswald's body. And he ended up putting concrete over it and he put the casket inside. Okay. 
So it's basically like a big square thing of concrete is what they put, uh, you know, the caskets in. in a vault, yeah. So when he went to take the, to exhume the body, he, he, he uh, had to take the, uh, he, he had to take the, uh, the, the big concrete thing out. And he said that the bottom was broken out of it and that the, and that the casket had been tampered with. So he was surprised. Like maybe they came underneath, broke it, took it out. So they, ex- he thinks, he thinks that he actually said that he thinks that they tampered with that, that they came in, took the casket out and they ended up putting his, his skull in there. That's what he believes his real skull. That's what the dude said, bro. So what happened is he, he took it and he gave it to uh, a patho- pathologist. I think it is uh, for them to uh, check uh, to, for them to check to see if it was Oswald. And what he said is when he went there and he, they opened up the casket, he said that that the head that was in there, he said he could tell that the autopsy hadn't been done on it because there was no stitch marks. What they do is they cut the, the, the stitch, their stitches that they end up, they end up cutting the brain yeah, or cutting the head. Hammer. Yes, he said that was, that that was not there, and he said that he was the one that did the actual autopsy on the body that came, and that was supposed to be Oswald. So he was like, "Whoa!" So they ended up two years later saying that it was Oswald's body and that the teeth matched. But that's what the mortician said, which is very interesting. I never ever heard that in my life, dude. I never even knew that even happened. I don't know if you guys ever heard it, but so that's that's kind of Oswald's whole thing, man. You guys kind of know the timeline of him. Uh, his background and and um, and what what they were trying to like basically the story they were trying to create behind him and the reason why he would be the guy that did it. <clears throat> Supposedly, they say that he did it because he was because of the Cuba, you know, that he has connections with Cuba and that he he was I guess he was in some uh, organization. And uh, if you guys think that he is that down with Cuba. You know what I mean? That he's going to just go and shoot our president of the United States because because uh, they, you know, John F. Kennedy didn't was trying to not have war with Cuba. So I don't understand why they would even try to place that on him to say that he because was a rush because of Russia communism ties. That's all. Yeah. So, yeah, you really think he's going to shoot the president for that. So but no, back no, then, the that's all they talked about was communism, dude, know, to not be communist. This. John F. Kennedy want to get, didn't want that in our country. Didn't want communism. Didn't want this. Didn't want that. Lincoln didn't want, did not want, did not want, uh, uh, he did not want to get out of the union. He was like, he wanted to keep that union together. And they, when the civil war got kicked off like that, man, he thought he was doing this the right thing. John F. Kennedy, he, he, they, he, he was push, he wasn't pushing towards Vietnam, but he was going to be the president that was going to probably go into Vietnam. But he, yes. he, he was going against it so much. Oh, hold on, hold on. Say that again. But he was he going against it so like Lin, or not Lin, uh, John F. Kennedy was going against that war so much, bro. You know, like, the he people said, are like, "Hey, man, we can't go this war. Nobody wants no nobody wants to go." This he war. said that he's pulling. Okay, there was some troops there. Okay, but it was more for support. It was not that we didn't invade yet. So he said that he's going to pull those troops. Yes, out. I know, I know. Okay, I know. and then to be Johnson so, was probably like. Nah, no. Well, not that. It's no, a military we're, industrial we're, complex. I know. Saying, yes, you are gonna invade. And then John F. Kennedy saying, No, I'm not. That he just what that does, okay. The military industrial complex is just a big war machine, dude. Every I'll time a what, bullet, I know I'll tell every you time what, a bullet he is said, sent, he, he was gonna go out. He was gonna he was probably gonna blow the whistle on something because you don't kill somebody like that unless he had he was gonna say something like just right out. He wanted to go to the moon. Okay, you see, I see. He want he he wanted to go to the moon. He wanted to explore space. Okay, (laughs) he was in NASA. He was with talking about John F. Kennedy. Yes, who was he friends with? Lyndon Johnson was trying to go to space too. But yeah, but who who was there? Who was their man up there doing it? Doing what? NASA. What's his name? Oh, the guy that uh, you talking about the guy that um that runs Uh NASA, the one that run NASA. Yeah. Uh, geez, Von Braun, Braun, Von, Von, Von Braun. Braun. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have it in my notes, bro. I'll tell yeah, you. That I guy's a Nazi. That. I got so much stuff in my a head. Nazi. Okay. He's a yes. Nazi. So, Nazi, Jesuit, ties. Okay. Yes. All these. Okay. Now, he was probably gonna. See, this is what my theory was. Von Braun couldn't break through the firmament. 
you know, and, 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 and probably John F. Kennedy was probably like, man, dude, what, what, what's, what are you talking about? There's there, why can't we get to the moon? Cause it's impossible. Can't land on the moon. He's like, well, China's going to go do it. No, 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 no. We're going to talk about it's nothing. No one can land on the moon. Right. It's there. God is real. Right. This stuff is real. And he, these Catholic guys that were, that were Nazis, they're all back into a, they're all in the U S now. Well, at that time, they all became very prominent. Operation Paperclip. Yes. yes. And okay. they all came over here. Why? Because they wanted those guys in there. Okay, you defeat, you defeat the Nazis, but you bring them all over here to become running our country. Why? Because the Catholic, Roman Catholics that are out there, they do. Adolf Hitler was Roman Catholic. Von Braun was Roman Catholic. Everybody that's a Nazi is Roman Catholic because they split that up when, when, uh, when Rome split up and with one went to Germany, the half went to Germany, the other half stayed in Italy and Rome. Okay. So you still have, that's the, when the Holy, you got the third, the, what was it? The second Reich? No, they were the third Reich. Okay? okay. The first Reich was Constantine. He took it over. Okay. So it goes over, goes over. They had the iron cross. That's where the iron cross comes from. That's where all this stuff, dude, these guys are all Jesuit ties, bro. All Jesuit stuff. Okay. The, the only people killing people in this world are the ones that have a lot the of the assassinations that happened was yeah was jesuits dude every jesuit every jesuit they killed they, they murdered most of our presidents they poisoned most of our presidents i'm not saying that they 100 did but the research that i've done man a lot of presidents were poisoned so yeah. they died out of nowhere you know and all of them all complained about jesuits and all went against hey we don't need to be sticking our nose in other people's businesses the first thing we should never done never even went to cuba she never stayed in the, even put her nose into Cuba. We shouldn't even put our nose into Russia, put her nose in. Only thing we should be worried about is Israel. That's it, because that is God's hands on that country. Okay. And it says whoever's against them is going to get burned, and whoever's for them will be blessed. And we're going away from that right now. We're not being blessed anymore, dude. This, this, this yeah. assassination that went on is horrible. But if you look at the yeah. big old picture of things, okay. The reason I they got go, shot is because they wanted, I want to go into, I'm going to go into something that's going to be okay. So, okay, guys. So the assassination happens, right? If you guys want to watch that, I mean, you could watch it. I don't need to go over that. I, I'm pretty sure all my listeners already know what's up with that. Yeah, but okay. some of the videos are tampered. Let's you can't even get the ones that are, that are right. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. The videos have been definitely tampered with. They've been uh, frame by frame. If you do it, you see that well, one thing is here. This is here. There's a, you know, there's it's, it's crazy. I see. I want to go see, into, I think Jackie blows his brains out myself. That's what I see. Yeah, it that would be it would be insane. Why is she though. running off the back of the car, grabbing for whatever's falling off? She ain't trying to pick up his brains. I know that. It looks well, like she, she when, could when be that picking up a clip around, when that driver because that video you sent me, dude. Yeah, that was one of the most graphic, but yeah, spot like you can see everything. Yeah, it and was when it was slow it was down. Unblemished. Yeah, when you slow it down. That first shot in the neck, he goes down like this, and she goes over to him, puts her hand underneath his chin, boom! And his head doesn't go in; it goes out, bro. It explodes right. out like a like 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 you said, like a watermelon, dude. Yeah. So and that's when she did that, but when she did that, she jumps up, jumps over the back end of the car. Something's falling out. You can see it, and she's scattering for it. And the other CIA agent is grabbing it too, hands it to her, and she jumps back in the car. Okay. Yeah. So that's now, one. One way to look at it. Yeah, but the, the passenger was shot. He said he, he felt something. The hot passenger is John Conley. Okay. So, okay. You guys so need to know. Okay. You want to talk about John Conley? I, 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 let me just get into this. Okay. I'll, I'll bring John Conley into hold this. On, Josh, well. Hold on. Before we go on. Okay. He's hit, right? But he's not dead. He didn't get a fatal blow, but you fatally shot the president spot on his head. They weren't trying to go for him. I, but it doesn't matter. I okay, think okay. he. But I think he, but I believe he Mark spin alive, brother. You can hit a guy in two seconds ooh. from, from dude. If you could kill the president, if they're saying that that guy, Lee Harvey Oswald, was that good of a shot, you don't think he's going to make a kill shot on that dude too. If you wanted to, they, yeah, he, pretty he, sure he, he was not trying to hit that guy. Believe me. Dude, okay. Okay. Then why do you get hit then? He got, well, here's the thing. They say that he got hit from a thing called a magic bullet that it went through Kennedy and then, and then ended up going to him and then ended up going through his wrist into his thigh. And they yeah, said but, that they but, found but the, the bullet the autopsy shows that the bullets weren't going that direction. Um, hold on. 
I, that's what do you mean? What are you talking about? The bullets. So okay, okay. The, the, the driver goes like this. If you look, the driver turns around and you see this the flash from the the from a from a shot. Okay. The guy they interview the guy that what's his name? Uh, the uh the one that got hit, he said he goes, I felt something hot hit me. I went back. John Conley. Okay. He's the he's okay. the actual governor of Texas. Okay. I know, but okay, okay. You're getting shot with a rifle like that, okay? From a you're gonna, you're dead. You're dead. It doesn't matter, bro. You're gonna die. You're probably gonna die. Depends on where you got shot. Dude, that's what I'm saying. You got you probably got see- shot in the shoulder. You get shot in the shoulder, it goes through your hand and it goes through your hand and to your leg. You, you have a chance of living, dude, if, if you get rushed to the hospital. Know, fast okay, enough. okay, okay, okay. Especially that's what I'm saying. He when is a marksman. An important they person. They said that he hit, hit a miraculous shot. He was so good. Yeah. He hits, pulls off two shots and that third one. Okay. It's because shots were coming from the reason why that guy got shot Multiple is because there were shots coming from different directions, bro. Well, it think, wasn't well, coming from was, one I guy. Was, I think the driver shoots him like in the shoulder to make it look like a shot came, right? And then pulls back to shoot uh, 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 Kennedy, shoots him in the neck. And when, 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 when it starts going, all the commotion starts going, he's falling forward and everyone starts like thinking about what's going on. That's when Jackie, who was, did not, did, did, I, I, I swear to you, after you see her after that dude, interviews, anything, she's always wearing black glasses. Cause you know why? She don't want to show her eyes or face to people to know that, hey, man, look what you did. Because she knew. Well, she had to be. <laughs> you guys have to. My brother's coming up with this by watching the video and looking at it. So you guys, uh, this is this is just the speculation that we're, we're speculating. I know it, okay? this is not. This is not. So, real, but but look, 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 he was he was having an affair with Marilyn Monroe. Him and his brother were doing they were doing a lot of weird things with her. OK. And what what what? Publicly, everyone starts finding out about it. You don't think his wife is going to be very angry about that? Yeah. Uh, yes, but we. Yes, uh, but what? We, we don't want- Come on, dude. And then, and then Linda B. Johnson is probably like, look, now, look. I'm not going to say she ever did that to him. I'm just going to say this. I believe that she was. She knew what she was going on. She knows everything, dude. That's what I believe. She knows is. everything. And Linda. Okay, so let's get this. So after the assassination happens, like my brother said. They take it to the hospital, right? They take JFK to the hospital and they end up all right away. There's a, the guy that says it's a homicide in Dallas. I'm doing the autopsy. Excuse me. The CIA come and they snatch the body up. They say, no, you're not. This is the president of the United States. And then uh, John F. Kennedy's doctor comes in and says, no, you're, you're not. This is the president. We're taking the body. So they end up taking the body. They put They bought this nice uh, bronze casket that they put his body in. And they brought a, a, a priest there. He did his thing or whatever. And then they uh, they took it on to Air Force One. Then, the, like my brother said, they swore Lyndon Johnson in immediately, right? Boom, like quick. And then they took the, and then they ended up landing at a Navy base for them to do the autopsy. Dude, that room was filled with people, dude. Secret Service, CIA, uh, all these different people. And then the people yeah, that have to actually do the autopsy. Right. Every Yes. Member. All of them, dude. And it was like a madhouse in there, dude. And they're arguing. It was over crazy. Them. Yes, they're arguing over the body. She's like this. Oh, with, my God. With I still with, his brains on me. Still have, yeah. So, dude, it was just a mayhem in there, okay, guys? So, obviously, they didn't have their stuff together, dude. And the bronze casket that, that, that came, someone said that the bronze casket looked different, dude. It looked like an... The, no, they, they said brought they the body, him dude. in that casket, but when they arrived with the to do the autopsy... He was in some kind of like shipping casket, yeah, which shipping is a ground crappy, bronze casket. Yes, 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 yes. Like yes they Jason. Give you the gun. That's the That's president of the United States, dude. So, guys, so if you guys, I know we don't have the time, dude, because it's eleven twenty-one. But uh, I mean, not eleven twenty-one. Sorry, we've already been doing this for a while, and we're gonna get into some other stuff. But if you guys want to just do some research on it, okay, guys, look up, uh, look up the autopsy. Look up, look at it. I, 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 there's so much stuff I could get into with the autopsy, but I just, I just can't William get into Cooper. It right now because, yeah, you guys can look it up. But um, I want to go into something that had that have definitely some good conspiracy stuff, bro. Lyndon B. Johnson, uh, the CIA, the Warren Commission, all this, dude. There's some definite Freemason ties, bro. Okay, so Vice President Lyndon Johnson. He was a Freemason, okay? He put together the Warren Commission to look in 
to the assassination. What they do is they investigate the whole thing, and then they end up putting in, they make a Warren report. Yeah, and they watch their hands. Look, the they watch their hands. Yes. And what do you, who knows how to keep a secret vest, guys? Who? Yes, you're right. If you guys answered it, a Freemason. Because if you don't, if you do tell the secrets of the Freemason, you know, they cut your tongue out, they slice your throat, they cut your stomach, they leave you at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, guys? Listen. Jesuits, bro. Jesuits, too. All run this stuff, bro. It's all ties of this stuff. And guys, if you don't think, that they put that stuff ahead of their government career. They put that stuff ahead of it, dude, the, the, the oaths that they make and all that. So the Warren commission guys, five out of the seven guys that did that, that were elected by Lyndon B. Johnson to do the, uh, no, to be in the Warren commission, five out of the seven, were all practicing Freemason. Okay. Um, the sixth guy, Alan Dulles was the guy that was a CIA member that got fired by Kennedy. So that's six people involved that I would definitely not trust. Okay. And, uh, Gerald Ford me. Mason, Gerald Ford. He was also, he ended up going on and becoming George Bush uh, skull and bones. Come on, man. Well, is, let's talk about deep, bro. Earl Warren himself. The gentleman that was the head of the commission. He was an active Freemason, and he actually became a Grand Master, which is like becoming the 33rd, highest. Thirty third degree. Thirty third degree. Okay, guys. You know so got, Gerald Ford is the thirty third degree Mason. Yes, him too. Because, dude, I, I saw this. Yeah, excuse and, me. And I'm, I'm, I started tripping out, but they tell you they say, "Look, man, these guys act like they're Christians or they act like they're Catholics, but they are not." They are yes. working for the papacy, dude. Okay, the papacy of Rome is the devil. All right, the devil is living there and he rolls on that seven mountains, dude. Yeah, it is so right guys, there in front of you. The devil is running all this stuff. That could yes. have been a sacrifice. Guys, we, know top, we know at the top, we know at the top of the pyramid, uh, as far as their chain of command, not even a pyramid, my brother. He's just it's just him. Yeah, I'm just saying. Man, the couldn't, devil man couldn't think this stuff up. Man cannot be smart enough to think these things up in life, dude. And, so, guys, and- so Lyndon B. Johnson is the one that's in charge of putting together this commission because he is now president. He chooses all these guys. I would like you guys to definitely go to Google and just Google the Warren Commission. And there's seven guys. And I would like you to just take each individual. I would love to go through each individual one with you guys if I could, but I don't have the time to do that. But just look them up. You're going to see Masons. You're going to see people that have been in government ever, you know, for 30 years. You're going to see uh, uh, guys that are like ex-CIA directors. You're going to see people that are not the most friendly with, with Kennedy, okay? So it's almost like he created this whole all-star team of people to put, a, put together the Warren Commission of people that none of us all have, motive, all have motives to kill the president. Nobody. Yeah, exactly, dude. All had motives to hide everything that happened, guys. It was like an 800 page document of just exactly what everybody like the mainstream media was already saying. OK, guys. So if you start reading the Warren Commission report, you just read those 800 pages. All you're going to read is exactly what the media already put out. And then they just went along with the story of the everybody. They even said that there was only three shots in there. Okay, guys. And there is a gentleman that was there when the, when the assassination happened, that got a ricochet off the face next to the freeway. So that's four shots, ladies and gentlemen, and the commission stayed with three shots. And that's why you get the magic bullet thing. They say that, well, the one bullet well, the went, through, went through his shoulders and then ended up going through uh, a Conley's chest and then ended up going through his arm and then ended up hitting his knee. And then they end up finding the bullet, <clears throat> excuse me, on the stretcher at the hospital, guys. Okay. So, guys, look that up for me, guys. Do me a favor. Look it up. Cause I was looking at each one of these individuals and look at their faces, man. You could tell. I don't know. Sometimes I can look at like Sergeant Majors and, and I could, t- I could tell who's a stone cold killer and who's just a, a regular uh, Sergeant Major. You can see it, dude, when they're combat freaking Sergeant Majors. You can just see their picture and see it. But anyways, <clears throat> so we got through that, dude. That's the, um, that's something that you guys should definitely look into, man. Uh, that's, that's crazy, man. That, 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 that Warren commission report was 
was uh put together and it was almost like um you know it was almost like it was just aimed to hide everything that actually did happen and stick with the actual stories um okay also guys after john f kennedy passes away lyndon b johnson ends up like me and my brother talked about earlier the gulf of tonkin happens right so he ends up going to vietnam full-fledged full force let's get it we invade vietnam we bomb them and all this stuff happens. 54,000 troops end up passing away. Two million Vietnam uh, civilians and soldiers end up passing away over there in, in this war. And this is military industrial complex at the fullest, man, pushing it, man. Hey, 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 I, I was just looking up his speech because I, 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 I follow this guy on YouTube, which is uh, it's a super good thing. He has a lot of stuff on this. But he, uh, JFK made a speech oh, in me. 1961. <clears throat> where he was stating, he was like, hey, we got to stop meddling in other countries. We need to, uh, we need to uh, actually get the media on board and tell the truth about things that are going on in this world. <clears throat> and all the secret societies and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, and when you start yeah. talking like that. Yeah, dude, that's when not When you start good. talking like that, dude, they're like this. Whoa. Next interview or speech, this dude could slip up and say something that, 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 that could really bring us down, you know? Because if you got the president of the United States over there and he's like this, hey, Illuminati is real. Hey, the Jesuits are real. Hey, all this stuff is real. Before they should be right now, I'm going to let it all out. This is all real, dude. The devil is real. <laughs> Demons are real. This is all real, okay? So American people, get ready for it because this... Yeah. There you go. Well, Jason, he pissed off the mafia, Everybody. the CIA, the Federal Reserve, yep. the military industrial complex, and the secret societies. That's, yeah, all that's five basically people. That's, that's like the that's like the like like the, and, the Olympic gold of you should yeah. be murdered. So I'm just naming people that 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 uh okay. And usually usually they poison you, okay? So you suffer. Yeah. They shot him publicly in front oh, of everybody. They wanted to make sure that we knew. Okay, here's some interesting that's stuff. That's ballsy, too, bro. Man. This is ballsy. Yeah. They take him out, um, they could take you out. Okay. Oh, dude. Come it here. Was a, it's a warning to every single person that ends up becoming a president. And but, in that okay, well, no. After he's dead, look, look at all the stuff that unfolded after that. Not just days or months or, or weeks after that. Years. His brother, or no, or, or is it brother? Is, is it a Ro, or Robert Kennedy? I think it is the, the one that that uh, he was a Democratic um, Senate leader and stuff like that in the in the eighties. Was that Robert Kennedy? Um. You're talking about you're talking about his brother Robert Kennedy, yeah. Like, no, there's another uh, one. There's a, there's, a, there's I don't know if it's his cousin or is, Bobby he, Kennedy. Is it is it Bobby Kennedy? I, I don't no, know. No, Bobby I, Kennedy was killed. Robert Kennedy is a different one. I think he's an older yeah. guy. I don't know if you ever seen him, but dude, he was he wasn't even like involved. He was like a I don't know. He wasn't very up there in, in politics. But once all that stuff happened, is when all the Kennedys were like basically moked down. He rose he rose up quickly, man. Okay, and they were all about this civil rights abortion um and, and that's when it started like after after uh kennedy's death that's when abortion uh uh more more um more uh, more things given to the uh the the like the poor societies and they weren't talking about people being poor they were using that as color okay so when you when you back then when you were giving money to uh to uh like section eight women okay this is the rule you can have as many kids as you want and we'll give you, we'll give you funding for that. We'll give you money. You know, you'll, you'll get money for every kid you get in the hood, you know, in, in the ghetto. But the rule is you can't have a man in that house. Okay. So there, right there, you just, you just, it was back then it was already like 65, 70% of males were staying at home. Now you just got rid of 85% of all African-American males in the home to take care of their boys. To, to, to make sure they're not going out and joining gangs, make sure they're not committing murders, you know, going to school, doing the right thing, following God. No, you took that out. And now you got, hey, not against moms, not against moms, okay? You're great. There's are a lot of single moms out there that raise men to be successful, okay? But that's not the, that's not the norm. That's, that's, that, that's like, you know, that's like a very low, uh, a low percentage of, of people. So when you got a rough kid out there with a the mom, you know, being uh, raising him, he's not going to turn out to be the way you, you want him to be. They're going to be in gangs and stuff like that. So they're looking for that father figure in their life. And bam, you, you're, you're ruining a certain race 
because you are racist yourself, okay? You're killing the society, you're killing the families because you think it's, uh, uh, you're helping out, they think they're being helped out by the government. But no, wow. what you That's did good. was you killed their family, yeah. uh, everything, you introduced Bro. drugs into their systems, you screw them up all, all totally, Ooh. and now, now they're now, guys. Now they're jumping up like this. Hold on, we, we need to be, you know, stuff like Listen, that. Dude. United, but they don't even know that the the, the Who, government. Who's the one? Who's the ones that actually brought all that stuff in? The CIA, dude. They dropped. They started crack cocaine. They 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 got co they got coke. All this different stuff. They just had fly in, dropped it in the hood. There was actually truck and barrel fulls of automatic weapons that were dropped off of trains. The CIA dropped off in the hood. They wanted to keep the prisons full and everything, bro. Like they get paid. That's all money. That's all money. Yes, dude. Ninety percent. All the private prisons, ninety percent full, dude. They get money. But anyways, <laughs> but now you got. So there's just you, evil civil man. Civil rights. Civil rights. Civil rights is a lie. Okay. It's a lie. Civil rights is not a lie, bro. I don't know. No, no. Civil know. rights is a say that. Listen, lie. Nobody Let's, on this earth is created equal, my brother. Okay. So Everybody is created equal. It's true. No. Hold on. Hold on. Some people are tall and skinny. Some people are short and fat. Some people, you have genes. I don't know why you say, I don't know why you say that civil rights looking. is a lie. I don't get what you're saying. What? No, civil why, why rights, Josh. Patriot Act. Explain Act. yourself so I know. Okay, this I'll go. Okay, the Patriot Act. What in that word of Patriot Act do you people think that 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 they listen to and hear? Patriot, Patriot, right? So you hear the Patriot Act, you think it's good. You think, oh, I'm Patriot. Patriot Act it should be good. It should be good. Read the Patriot Act. It's not good. Civil rights is not good. You're, it's not. You're taking, you're taking something. You're taking a race, and you're taking them down, and you're making them believe that they are below everybody else. Okay. Okay, you're, so not, you're not you're not saying hey the poor you're saying the blacks well the blacks okay here's what we're okay? gonna do and look at hold on, on this is why they're so easy i know but okay? this has nothing to do with their no our, yes our, it does yes it does Kennedy thing. this is what happened even though they when he was shot and killed okay he was trying to he didn't want to do tell me how it relates to it because i don't want to be going into the civil rights no, not, crap, what i'm though. saying is that when he got killed dude all this agenda started going through Civil rights, dude. Yeah. Lyndon B. Johnson was the leader of civil rights back then, dude. And let me ask you a question, a lie. Jason. A lie. You think that was you Lyndon think B. That... Johnson? Was Lyndon B. Johnson a racist? Look yes. at his past. Heck yeah, he was a straight racist. Every right. time he that's voted, what said, that's what I'm saying. Every Josh, time he voted, backing civil rights. You're would, every time he voted on the on the Senate, he was voting against all uh, civil rights. So then no. John F. Kennedy yeah. passes away, and then he ends up passing the Civil Rights Act. And saying he did it in his name, so it's kind of, and he was, and he was on tape already cussing like a storm up, saying because all these Josh, bad Josh, because because terms towards civil towards rights. People. Read about it, Martin Luther King. I'll tell but you that's right the now, only why is he dead? Played. Why is he dead? You know why? Well, Martin Luther because King he knew civil rights great... was bullshit, bullcrap, bro. He knew it. Uh, he wasn't for listen. civil rights. He was for the the stopping of just. You just, just basically, we'll have a show. Of we'll a have race, a show. Bro. We'll have a show on uh, Martin Luther. Uh, at no, some what point. I'm saying is that look, look definitely, he's dead. His too. assassination, because that's, that's another and It was one. at the same time, bro. Civil rights. He, he was, was a lie. beautiful person, dude. Equal, yes, he, he was. was a beautiful person. Equality, a great a lie. Okay. So anyways, anyways, it's let's lie, get back bro. to. Let's get back to. Uh, I don't even care about all that. Let's get back well, to. Well, that's what I'm saying. John F. You understand something? When your agenda is going to get pushed through. Yeah. Look, look where we're at right now. Look, we're, we're so divided in this country, my brother, because of this it's reason. True. Because, of rights, because of abortions, we can't even we can't even get agreed between our Senate or anything like that on just abortions. It's been the same for years. Now they're moving it to a point where you could kill a baby at, at like like basically right before it's even born. Okay, so that okay, you're, you're, you're moving uh, things. What's going to be next? What if what if yeah. Trump gets elected again, right? And say he doesn't want to go with their their route again, right? He he already got out of sin. They kill him he's too. Gonna, he's gonna be, this. bro. They kill him if they don't kill him like like physically. They kill him in the media and they kill every single decision he makes. So that that's what happened. Biden Biden was he's, civil rights, civil rights, but he's the biggest racist. I know. I, I, I he is. I can't. Just to let him talk. Or he was the biggest racist. Yeah, for no, sure. no, no. His mentor. Excuse me. Strom Thurman was a KKK. 
He was a KKK leader of yes, the KKK he's on video saying we need to get these yeah. out of our uh, out of our uh, movie theaters. They shouldn't even oh, be God. drinking the same water as us. N word, N word, N word, N word, screaming it on live television, and then you go and do a eulogy at this dude's death, and you yep. got Obama there, you got Hillary Clinton there. Obama's black, dude. He, 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 I don't know, man. Okay. Well. Yeah, it is what that's it is. Like let's get back to let's like get back to JFK, green, bro. Let's get back to JFK because I I don't want to talk about uh, civil rights or the J or any of those people because well, that's all okay. But that's disgusting. why he got shot a lot of things because he he was against all this stuff, dude. He's like, man, come on. So that's how it relates is because it, because it was okay. I get it. Let's 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 switch to back to what we were talking about because well, it, it, what I'm we saying always is that an agenda an agenda is pursued, is pursued no matter what. Doesn't matter what you say or do. That agenda is going to get pushed through. As we're going through yeah. right now. Yes. So your point was uh, John point F. Was, Kennedy was pushing yes. for civil rights. Lyndon Johnson was, was he ended up no, passing that no, no, civil no. rights. Lyndon B. Johnson and these guys, they're, Democrats always go for civil rights, okay? So yes. when you're pushing all that stuff, you're trying to get the black vote, you're trying to do all that. But then when you go into office, you screw them. You don't even help anything about them. You make them worse True. off than they are. It's all bad. No, Kennedy didn't want to do that. Kennedy right. had compassion, bro. Kennedy was a guy that was like, hey, Lord Jesus, let's pray before the before we even go out there. Let's do the, you know, you know, have God back in this country. Come on, you know, nah, nah. Dora the Explorer, stuff like that. Come on, man. This guy was a, a, a great, great leader, dude. Okay. And he, but he was Catholic. And he, I guarantee you, he didn't want to do abortions. He was against stuff like that. And he got dirt on him. Man, I, I can't, everybody that was involved in it, that you were talking about all have motives to kill this guy. Lee Harvey Oswald didn't have a motive, dude. No, they, they tried to create it. And it, it, it's not even, it's not even, if you think about it now, dude, I mean, dude, how many people believe the, the Warren commission, dude? Like I guess I they said, I mean, they did a poll. It was like 80% of the people don't believe it. You know, I don't even know how 20% of people would believe it. It's insane. No, but because I they were, don't care. There's like whatever. I remember you were talking about that. It's a ritual dude. And, and guys, this stuff, I don't really uh, go down this lane usually, but I know that I was going to have a gentleman on. But OK, so this is this is all coming from uh, William Cooper. OK, I'll just I'll just bring it up because this is another way that he was saying that about it being a ritual. This part is actually something I uh, personally uh, studied. Uh, so the, the street that he got assassinated on that they actually moved him to is, is Elm Street. OK. And the elm tree is, is popular in mythology, uh, symbolizing victory, uh, a man's achievement of goals, and more. So it's kind of it's kind of crazy. And it's also popular in the Scottish uh, Freemasonry or the Knights Templar. Okay, so the elm is on a lot of the Freemasons uh, lodges. Okay, guys, so you can look it up and um also, like the Knights Templar, they said there's a treasure buried and hidden between the oak and the elm, okay? So that's one thing. The Elm Street, is, is it's interesting, the street that he actually, uh, that he went down, okay? They got that. Also, um, Dallas is on the 33rd parallel, which is, uh, as you guys know, 33 is a significant number in the Freemasonry occult symbolism, okay? It's like the highest degree of masonry you can reach. D. Lee. Plaza is the name of the plaza that JFK got shot in. D. Lee was a Freemason, and that's what the whole plaza is even named after. Okay, guys, we have that. Um, this is also from William Cooper. There's an obelisk, uh, you know, obelisk, you know, yep. what that is it's like the Washington Monument, right? So there was 14 stones on this. Um, Egyptian. And, yeah, and, and it's actually there's 14 stones. Uh, and this obelisk, which, which is in D. Lee uh, Plaza, all right, it's got 14 stones. That is the number of pieces that Osiris was cut into, all right? And that, and when Isis found her, uh, the pieces, the only one that she couldn't find was the uh, genitals, okay, or the penis. And that's what the obelisk represents. And on top of this obelisk is actually... Oh, that, that's Tammuz. That's, well, that's ancient Babylon yeah. regions, brother. So on top of this is an actual flame, which is, it's like an eternal flame, which represents the devil. So that's pretty interesting. Okay. And it also sits 
and, and there's actually a pool in front of it, just like the Washington Monument, dude. And, and that, that's interesting. Um, November, he also said November 22nd, 1963. November is the uh, the 11th month. And then the 22nd, if you add those you know, up, it becomes 33. In the world, though? What's that? You know how many obliques, obliques or whatever they're called are, are in the world? Obelisk. I, I don't know how to say it either. Obelisk, I guess it is. Or yeah, obli- o- oblisk or whatever it's uh, did I think, I think, yeah, I guys. think. I think the Vatican has 14 of them, dude. Yeah. They stole well, 14. It's interesting, man. Egypt, dude, and, and, and 14 is what? The number, and if you of, st- the, the number of what? 14 is the number Oh, 14, of, the number of the... St- oh, that they cut. Yeah, yeah that they, 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 have, they Osiris, stole so. 14, and, they, and they're all throughout the world, dude. And they have one that's, that's, that has the Rome wheel. We're all ro- in, yes. in actual Rome, where it means all roads lead to Rome, okay? Yes. So, and another... Another interesting thing, Jason, is um, that that William Cooper brought up was that I saw, I heard him on his radio show. He said that Hiram Abif, which is like um, he's supposedly the one of the main builders of Solomon's Temple. He's really popular in the Freemasons. Actually, when you do your um, initiation, you have to do something with Hiram Hi- Abif. I don't know what they do, but he was injured with three wounds, one to the head, one to the neck and one to the back, which and then entered his heart. Now, John F. Kennedy was also hit. Yes. Yeah, exactly, dude. One to the head, one to the neck, one to the heart. So it's almost like if it was a ritual and he was sacrificed, they tried to do it that same way as Hiram Abiff, right? And then also he was sacrificed at 1230 or noon. Uh, This is also like a time that they do their sacrifices. uh, That's three o'clock, dude. That's three o'clock. What's that? 12. Two, three. It's three o'clock on other uh, on the on the on the on the eastern seaboard. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying so that time would be twelve there. It'd be three o'clock somewhere else. So that's three. Yeah. There, there's a weird depiction. There's more threes there. Opposite. Yeah. So guys, me and my brother don't get into all that. Like really, like I do have a, a guess. I I do I do I really do yeah. because I, I do. Believe- all I'm doing is explaining to you what how the Freemasons would probably want to do a sacrifice and, and they have a lot of symbolism and meanings and all that stuff. Okay, guys. So that is what William Cooper was talking about. And I just thought it was interesting. I wanted to bring it up on the show um, and uh, kind of go over that. Okay. Now that's Baal religion, bro. That's in the Bible. Yeah. And, and that's this type of stuff that like Osiris and, and, and all that and set and all that stuff, bro. that's all stuff that, um, that if you look at, uh, Washington DC and you look at all the signs and there's also like the, the, the Scottish, uh, Freemasonry there, uh, the all the signs and symbols there's a temple there. They have the temple it's of, all, of, of, of yeah, America dude. in the, in the capital. That's where they dedicated it to Brahma for the first time. Instead yes. of dedicating it to God, they dedicated yes. it to Brahma, the, 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 the God of creation, uh, um, um, the Hindu God, blah, 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 blah. And yeah. in that temple, if you look in the back, they have Roman ties all vatican stuff in there dude they have yes. the roman uh they have the roman axe with the with the with the with the um what's it called around it the uh the wheat it's the wheat and, a, and an axe that's all over there bro it's all roman stuff that's all roman uh vatican things bro that's how you know yes. so guys when look you into it see that that's a temple and when, when when everybody went in there that time they desecrated the temple it wasn't de- when they talk about it, they don't say Oh, they came in here and broke in. They go, they desecrated the temple of United States, dude. They desecrated it. That means that, that's like you see in the Bible when they go in and they take the stuff from Israel. So they desecrated the temple before they left. Yes. You, so you, you, you are, you're that. Why do you think they're, they're telling uh, Hillary Clinton? She's saying, Hey, will you guys please stop telling my, uh, telling people that my, my family uh, drinks blood and, 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 and we sacrifice children to Moloch. Please stop saying that because it's really bothering me like that. It's really bothering us. Yeah. That, didn't say that. It's like, dude, Christianity has moved on through the, through the years. No matter how hard uh, the devil has tried to silence it, it's moved on. But nobody has tried to silence the other religions. No yeah. one tries to shut well, them up. Yeah, no one people, tries to shut that's up. That's what the, Jesus the, said the, was going to happen, though. Jesus said yeah, that we're going to be persecuted. I, I know. And that's, I know. We, are, we yes, have to be expected. You're persecuted. That, yeah. You're persecuted. But if you're dumb enough to think that that Baal worship 
that stuff that was going on back then didn't just didn't carry on to now. You're stupid. Yeah. You're just, you're just right. we have a, another thing that my buddy kind of uh, showed me is um, like time magazine, which the, the writer uh, was actually a skull and bones. The gentleman that, that, that created time magazine. Um, so he did a, uh, article and it was almost like a warning to president Kennedy. Okay. So back in the day, Shakespeare warned, uh, Julius Caesar by saying, beware the Ides of March because Julius Caesar was going to get assassinated. So what, uh, Shakespeare kind of warned him. And in Time Magazine, it said, steal the Ides of April. So basically, he was trying to send a, a message to Kennedy because I guess Kennedy was uh, something with the steel company. Uh, I guess he was, uh, he was going against the steel company at the time. So they kind of just threw like a, almost like a warning out there. I, I thought that was something I wanted to kind of bring up um, that I thought was interesting. Uh, and, and I really, if I, if I knew more about it, I'd kind of go more into it for you guys, but it's kind of tough. Um, <clears throat> so there's a few different conspiracy, uh, like angles on the Kennedy assassination. Um, there's the grassy knoll conspiracy. Then there's like the mafia conspiracy. Um, there's also the umbrella man conspiracy. Uh, the grassy no conspiracy was kind of interesting. Do, do, do you know about that stuff, Jay? About the Yeah. And also when I talk about that. <clears throat> The CIA said all the manhole covers are supposed to be closed. All of the windows should be closed. All of this stuff, should, you know, everything is lined up perfectly. When you switch the plan for that, they had to basically, you know, rush everything together. It's no time to, 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 do, all, to do all the whole uh, looking through and trying to find out what's going on. So, yeah, that right there, right off the bat, he's the president of the United States. If it ain't looking right, you don't go out there, dude. OK. Yeah. And why, 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 why anybody would not believe that this is a cons not even a conspiracy. It's, it's a full blown lie that has been told to us for years and everybody wants to find the truth and everybody wants to figure it out, but no one will ever really figure it out because it's, 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 it's never going to come out. Dude, it's because the people that did this, they're all tied together with Freemasonry, Secret yes, Service, I know, I know, CIA, if they, if and it will never get out. Up, if they can Bro, cover that never up, okay, get out. If you can, it, yes. And if you cannot fathom in your, in your brain as a smart human being that knows right from wrong, you're going to tell me that the, that, that the government or whoever it is hasn't lied to you about anything? Dude, guys, look at, I mean, we, I don't even need to explain it to you guys because you get, especially if you're a conspiracy theorist, dude, but you guys can just look at the Gulf of Tonkin. You can look at, uh, you can look at 9-11. You can look at all these different things, dude, where we just lie continuously just to get into war, just so the public can actually accept it. Okay. Uh, the, the mass, the weapons <clears throat> of mass destruction, uh, all this different stuff that got us into war. So you guys see how we lie, dude. And you could see also like, uh, Back in the day, like when World War II happened and, and we were testing the atom bomb, dude, like we're testing the atom bomb. Uh, Japan is like going to like surrender and we just go and just boom and drop two of them on them. OK, guys. So, dude, we could see the evil in our government. OK, guys, we just can just pray that that that, you know, we just need to pray, dude, that that God that they just start following God, which is it, it doesn't dude, what we need to do is is pray. But also understand that we, as a people, not me and you or, you know, our families have gone too far away from the word of God. For sure. And when you do that, you cause problems. Now, our country was doing great. Everything is going great. Everything's moving the way it's supposed to. But not for the, not for the elites. Not for the people that really wants, you know, what they really, really want. New world order. All that stuff is, yeah, guys, all that it's stuff coming, is supposed bro. to happen. It's coming down okay? the line. Revelation tells us that all that stuff is going to come, okay? And all this stuff that happened with John F. Kennedy assassination, all that, it all ties in with, with the end times and all the stuff that's going to happen, okay, guys? 
Because if the mystery Babylon, my, my brother, I know you believe in this. You believe in everything happens for a reason, right? Yes. So, Kennedy shot. That makes all these things after that change history, right? So now yes. you got all this stuff that just felt, changed totally. Okay, actions, reactions, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. We're still having reactions from that now. Yes, for sure. There's okay. people, dude. Go down the street, dude. All I got to do is go drive uh, off the ten freeway. Get off on Cedar right next to my house, and you're going to see a Vietnam veteran right there with a sign saying that he is having a tough time and he needs money, man, because the government took him as an 18-year-old kid, threw him into a war, and there was combat going on, people dying right next to him, a person dying to the left, to his right. He barely makes it out alive, PTSD, barely like a 19-year-old kid, all because of money bro and greed okay that's all it is and and all we want is resources and we want money and we want this me as a united states military member dude i i found out mid my my mid uh you know like i was probably like three years in when i found out like what's really going on like really deep into it okay i knew before but i just wasn't wasn't thinking about it but you know once you find out what you're really fighting for oil lithium uh, heroin, uh, opium, things that are killing people, money, the military industrial complex, bullets, every bullet that flies, they get paid. Every uh, bomb that gets exploded, they get paid. Whether they kill civilians, military, whoever dies, it doesn't matter. As long as that machine keeps rolling, they're happy. And, so you're, guys, do, and you're doing the world a favor because you're depopulating it. You're killing good, good Christian people. That's, you're, you're that's how they feel. Homes back. They, they want to de- they, they, they they depopulate the earth, dude. Yeah, and that is part of Josh, the you, plans. If the real patriots of this country, the ones that have been, like you talk about, the, not Vietnam because they're not, they're too old to be doing anything about it now. I'm talking guys that were, that been, recently have been screwed over by the government that have been abandoned, you know, PTSD, you know, can't get a job, you know, can't do, can't do anything. Really, because they're all messed up, right? Divorced, druggy. Yeah, you dude. Know? You don't think that there's some guys that are like, you know what? Screw it. You guys asked for it. Now you got it. Let's go. Now, now you guys screwed our election. You're but you're busting our and, and and doing things against the constitution. You know what? I feel like this. You don't want to bring those people involved in this because they say once you do that, there's no turning back. You're talking guys that 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 really really don't have a, they have a hard on for the government. They don't they yeah. don't like them. You know that's not anti government. It's like hey man, you like your government? Hey man, I went to the war for my my government. I saw what they do. They fight for a hill, give it right back the next day. <laughs> you know our POWs yeah. got over there. What they do? They abandon them over there. Hey, yeah. So whatever. what what ultimately- was coming what was coming across over there? Vietnam. What's the biggest thing in Vietnam? The golden triad. What, what is that? Heroin, bro. Okay. Oh, Heroin was being moved so much over here and it was the biggest money maker. It was, it was big time. Okay. And so much drugs were coming through there. They don't care. They don't care about the, they don't care about you dying. Oh, no, nah, you're just a drugs. number, bro. I'm getting paid. You're okay? literally, I can, I can just, blind out of it. you're literally just a number, but uh, guys, so this is already almost two hours not. in. You're special, dude. You're special, Josh. I'm special. You know what I'm saying? They make you think you're not. They make you think oh, you're just sure. this little digital number. No, 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 no. You have a purpose. Whether it's you go tomorrow and talk to your friend before he dies, or whether you go, you go, you know, you turn, you save somebody's soul, and then you get hit by a, a, a car and you're dead the next day. You served your purpose no matter what. Okay. Yeah. And you were important. When you think about yourself as a number and like that, you detach yourself from God because God knows oh, the I, most unique thing in life is the most unique spirit thinks you're the most unique thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. It's a great I never, thing. To do. I never thought of myself as a number. I'm talking about. Well, not you. They, they I'm talking like a, like a, like a 16 year old kid that 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 is going on that that's on the verge of suicide. You know. Yeah. It's not All right. like, like like they need <laughs> this. Think, they need. They, they, I think they, we covered. Our world is, is so I'm sad right now. I'm sad. I yeah, see it every day. I know, brother. I think we covered you know, a lot. My, one of my good friends will pop himself, dude, for no apparent reason. You know mm-hmm. who he was, too. You know who he was. 
Do I remember? Uh, remember? Uh, uh, remember the twin oh, girl? Of the let's not. Let's not. Let's not talk about it over the air because well, what I'm saying know. is like we'll talk about it off. Like, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. What What was going on in his head? I know what was going on with that gentleman, and 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 uh, we'll talk about it off the air. But yeah, I, I know exactly well, what, what it was, bro. People, people out there are just doing this. It's the same thing we were just thing. talking about. It was the opium and all that stuff, man. It yes, was, dude. It was the taking that. the. It was the legal pharmaceutical pills that caused uh, thinking the you're not special. Of. You take your own. You, 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 God is is so good because look at man, I know for a fact. Oh man, and I gotta see. it doesn't matter about this assassination, which was a tragedy and horrible. And and I wish, I wish that the truth was always out there to come to people. And whenever they asked for it, it was always there. But it, it is. God, he's not going to lie to you. He's never lied to you. Never. For he can't. Sure, guys. You God know? is great. And to, to if he would have saw, like, what, what if, what if, what if he, what if John F. Kennedy was such of a devout religious person that God really loved, like showed favor to him, right? Well, he was praying, dude. I, I heard him praying a lot, man. Like even when he was doing his speeches, he would pray. Yes. He which I don't hear any, God, right? yes, I do yes. not hear any president do that at all they stay so far away from that and if they ever do say something about god they never say like in jesus's name or anything like that they're talking about god and that's their god okay guys that's the god you see when they say in god we trust or in money we trust or in the g, devil we trust lowercase g not g, the yeah exactly g. so guys let's wrap this up jason because it's it's it's, it's already two hours and i don't want my, my our we don't want our our viewers to be like just totally burnt well, on because this. Because it's just hard to cover everything on this. I know, but guys. I want to. I want to so stay. In the, I want to. Here's an honorable mention. Here's an honorable mention, guys, about John Conley, the guy that's the 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 um, United States uh, are the the governor of Texas. So he moves on to become appointed the Treasury of Secretary for Richard Nixon in 1971. And guess what this guy does? He presided over the removal of the gold standard from the u.s dollar which is something that john f kennedy was so against okay guys this is an honorable mention this is something i just wanted to let you guys know research john conley guys and what you will find out he's the one that got shot he was the one in the right front seat he got shot he was backing uh lyndon johnson during the uh election first of all when that when when he, the primaries and then uh, Lyndon Johnson ended up becoming vice president. Lyndon Johnson had him get moved to uh, the Navy secretary or whatever. And then he ended up running for governor of Texas. But dude, and then he ends up getting shot in the motorcade. And then he ends up becoming the treasury secretary and, and removing the U.S. dollar from the gold standard, which is something that John F. Kennedy was against. It's something that the... Um, Oh Lincoln. my God. Lincoln was too, against that too, as well. It's too late right now. Uh, okay, so something that uh, that John F. Kennedy wanted to do. Sorry, guys, it's 12 o'clock at night, dude. And it's I'm like, greenbacks, bro, it's called greenbacks. You back the gold. The Federal gold. Reserve did that. They wanted to stay away from that. You know why? Because they want to print, 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 print. And what happens? They make exactly. 10 cents every dollar that prints and print, print, print. And then all of a sudden stimulus here, stimulus there, and then trillions and trillions. And they're making money, money, money. And the Federal Reserve is making money. So guys, look into that. That's something I want to tell you guys. Look into the Warren Commission, all them. And also look into everybody, <clears throat> the Dooley's brothers. That's actually the CIA, um, the guy that was a director of the CIA. Look into that, gentlemen. There's a lot of different ways you guys can look into this, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. We did our best, guys. We had well, a my best. advice to you is look look into God before you look into any of this stuff because yes, yes, yes. This with, with with no godly help, <laughs> you're gonna end up like a freaking you you, 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 you know it'll it'll start to eat yeah. up to you. You'll start to think yes. about negative stuff. You don't want that. Jason anymore. is 100. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. The number one thing that we have this podcast for is salvation. We just want this to be a think tank when when we start talking about relating uh conspiracy to the bible we want to definitely uh we just we want to make sure that you guys have salvation through jesus christ that's the most important thing we want to make sure we start kind of igniting you guys to be reading the bible and to start uh getting into the word and finding out that all this stuff that's happening right now the reason why 
is because revelation is making a lot of sense right now, guys. Okay. The end times are here. So um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you guys can, if you guys are listening on Apple, Spotify, if you're listening on Apple, if you could please leave a review, give us a five star. If you love the podcast, give us some feedback. And also on uh, YouTube, it's uh, Josh Monday Music and Podcast. If you guys can want to watch it live or I'm sorry, not live, but if you want to watch it on YouTube, the video, check it out on YouTube. Okay, guys. Uh, Jason, anything you wanted to plug? Yeah, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4. Read it, dude. Get it into your head and then go through the rest of the Bible, okay? Start at Genesis and just go on. If you need to have a, like a video or something like that, I, re- I would recommend Chuck Missler. He has 360-some videos for the Old Testament. I'm going through it one at a time, <clears throat> and I'm telling you, I am like... I've never read Leviticus. I've never read uh, uh, some of the numbers and stuff like that. And when I'm going through it, he's pointing out things about just just how awesome, awesome God is, and how 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 just just how yeah. So we're plugging point, Chuck Missler. How on point sure. God is. God is so on point. The Holy Spirit is so on point. It's like you you start reading it and open your mind up to it. You start seeing how how Jesus is, and and Jesus Christ is on almost every page of of Genesis. Start opening up your mind to things that you never thought. So please, yes, please, amen. Read to that. the word. If you're going through anything right now, just just seek Him, seek God, seek Christ, seek Him. Yes. Okay, please, because He will help you out in anything. He could take any negative, turn it into a positive. He could take any positive and turn it into a negative. Okay, and believe me, God will let you mess your life up totally until you are fully ready to accept his grace. So Submit. There you go. that's what I say. Submit. All yeah. right, let's end it in let's end it in prayer. Father God in the name of Jesus, thank you for these airwaves. Thank you for this microphone. Thank you for the water that we drink. Thank you for the the food that we have. Sometimes we take stuff for granted, Lord. Um you know, my garbage disposal broke and I couldn't use my sink and I'm totally uh, stressed out, Lord. And there's some people in other countries that don't even have running water. OK, so we take things for granted, Lord, and, 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 I'm, and we're sorry about that. We appreciate everything you give us, everything you do for us. And we just want to say, Lord, please, we want to pray that Israel and Palestine, they, they keep their peace. OK, keep the military industrial complex away from that situation. I hope that the peace stays, Lord. Um, we also want to pray that all these evil characters that we've been discussing that the truth comes out lord we know that uh the truth will be exposed so let the truth be exposed on these people we're talking about we're trying to expose the evil and i just want you to i want to pray for uh, a legion of angels to protect us uh from these type of people because all we're doing is just trying to expose the evil and we love you lord we appreciate everything you do for us thank you in jesus name amen amen that's it brother Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we really appreciate you guys. Thank you.